honest with you. Actually honest, not just apparently honest. Don't we have to tell you? We don't have a clue what any of you are doing here. We have no idea what any of us are doing here. Thing is, we wish we had some kind of incredible truth to express. We wish we knew the deeper meaning. But we don't. We have nothing to tell you that we don't know, so it's thought it'd be worth acknowledging that. We're not used to this kind of environment. We're the kind of people that feel awkward in theatres. The people that don't laugh at the bits where everyone else laughs. And the people that have nothing to say afterwards when everyone else is expressing their opinions. We don't want to stand here in front of you and pretend that we can't see you. We can see you. You look lovely. We can't you here. We don't want to show you something impressive that makes you feel clever. We just want to show you something honest. Something ours. We'd be happy if it makes you feel anything at all. But what this is, is home. Deserted playgrounds, Trump singing in the street, bleeding gums outside the pub, takeaways and car exhausts and bodies till you can't see bodies. Working well, shit jobs, trying to care about things you don't care about, and saving up to buy things you hate yourself for wanting. Oh, oh. I see where nothing much happens except for everything. Where everyone is so entirely involved in their own that they forget about everything happening elsewhere. And the thing is, it would be a nice weekend. And that's all we really want to be. It's important that we tell you that we have no idea what we're doing. We need you to understand the history here. See? We were 13 once with our fists full of beer that were jacked from the office. We live without fear. Locked up to our elders. And awaited the days. <laughs> we looked up to by kids half our age. Time passed. We got wasted in raves and fell. God, like London belonged to us. us. Ah, but things happen. Our eyes got dimmer. And our dreams got flattened. We got older, didn't we? We got responsibilities. Started seeing our defiance as arrogance and stupidity. We used to be rebellious and angry and in it all together. But well, time passed and we realised nothing lasts forever. We realised this is all there is. There really isn't more. Staring down the barrel, an empty bottle, asking it to give us more. more. Life's great. Life's awful. Repetitions and figure eights. We're living like our best days. Only slipped away. And honestly, how can we rise up and take the reins back? It's the way we hide from the truth that's inside. The way we cling so tight to our disguise. How we find ourselves alone when we're surrounded? Divided from our tribe. I think I'm miserable, Tony. I mean, it don't seem fair to tell her that, but right now, I am pretty fucking miserable. She thinks I'm on the career ladder because I wear this shitty suit to the office, but I'm not. I'm going nowhere and I'm surrounded by idiots. Every day I'm in there, it's the same old shit. And every day I'm giving them all my time and every day just stacks up. We're still young for fuck's sake. <coughs> yeah, it's it. Alright, Dan. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> ten years. Yeah, I know it feels like yesterday, doesn't it? No. Feels like ten years. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't changed much. Still thinks he can have whatever he wants. Thinks he's gonna play guitar on seminal albums and tour America. Write a cool fucking novel that'll change the way we think about our lives. <laughs> Shit. I mean, he's one of my oldest friends. I'd lie down in the road and fucking die for him, but sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing he knows, he'll be 45, he'll be strung out from the booze and the cocaine, having panic attacks when he's on his own every night. He'll have realised that he's too old to be young anymore. And me, well, I'll be just as miserable as I've always been. Right there beside him. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you the truth, Dad, I can't fucking stand it. Can't stand what? Mate? I mean, it's not like you set out to end up nowhere, is it? Nowhere? Not going nowhere, mate. You're working hard, you. I need to change it up, though. I mean, it's not for me, for him. For what? Well, just look at his tree. What about his tree? Well, he might change his four times a year, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I do actually. Um, I've been making some changes myself as it goes. Had an epiphany, didn't an I? Epiphany. <laughs> yeah, yeah, an epiphany. Yes, I know what it fucking means. <laughs> <laughs> what did you realise? It's time to sort of shout at me. In what way? <laughs> well, no ways, really. You know, I'm right. getting fucked all the time and get a fucking job. Why? For Charlotte, isn't it? For Charlotte? Yeah, yeah, I'm on the back, don't I? <laughs> You broke a heart, Dan. I know, man. I just need one more chance, that's all, but it's different this time. I can't go back, can you? No. Well, what are you doing later, anyway? I don't know. This? More of this? We should celebrate, shouldn't we? Celebrate what? He's dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mark the occasion. Well, what did you have in mind? Well, mate's got his party going. No, we ain't <laughs> really nothing anymore, Dan. Come on, Ted, there'll be a laugh. A laugh? We'll get there and you'll sod off with some mates who've got adjectives instead of names. Believe me, <laughs> 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 like a lemon. <laughs> Take 
10 years to have the Tony Mate. Charlotte going? Yes, she is. All right, well, maybe it would be nice, me and you and Charlotte, just like the old days. Exactly, mate. But if we get there and you fuck off with her the minute we arrive, leaving me looking like someone's brought their dad along. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, me, you, Charlotte, I'll have that for now and the old days and fucking forever, mate. Oh, stop, will you? I'm well enough. <laughs> Party hard! <laughs> 
booked a flight, got travelling or something. I'm oh, gone. Well, you did ask her to stay, didn't you? No. But you're going to go after her, aren't you? No, no, I can't. Well, why not? And we got. Next week, 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 Mate, I ain't been funny, but I've known you a long time. Every night of your life, there's another big gig. Every night of your life, there's always going to be some big label there, but there never is, is there? <laughs> hey, Danny, I'm sorry. Your band's fucking shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, fuck off. Oh, I told you. I told you to take your chance, and you didn't. Do you know she was leaving? That's your trouble, mate. You expect life to happen around you. You just sit around waiting for it to land in your fucking lap. What are you talking about? Oh, you? you've never tried, and you've never failed, and you've never failed because you've never tried. You've never given it your all and just tried. I did, Jesus. What? I'm being serious. It's the decision, that's all. A decision, yeah. Yeah, you just decide. You say to yourself, I love this girl. And that's all there is, a decision. You're just happy with what you've got. I'm buzzing. It's <laughs> Sal. Hiya, darling. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, nah. Ikea, in the morning. Curtains. Yes, love the curtains. All right, yep. Yeah. OK, love, back. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Duty calls? <laughs> you'll be all right, though, won't you? Yeah, you'll be fine, mate. You know, you're lucky, really. It's you still here. You have a habit or depression or anxiety attacks or hell, even all three. Making secret plans to go to a different country where no one knows how much of a fucking wreck you are. I miss a lot of it, Tony. Oh, if I could just be the guy that I want to be. You know, the guy that lives in my head and shit, you'd never stop smiling. But I'm not that guy, I'm <coughs> this guy. So, you're lucky, really. Charlotte? Oh, hi, Dan. <coughs> what are you doing here? I came to say goodbye. What time's your flight? I missed it. So you ain't go? No, I ain't. That's great, Charlotte. How come? Loads of reasons. It looks I'm fucked. <laughs> the idea of customers make them want me sick. But he ain't been here all year, you know. He wouldn't mind. And I was thinking the best thing I could do to celebrate his memory was make some of my life. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, Charlotte. So I'm going to go back to school and teach. Properly. I've got to be a teacher, Dad. A really fucking good one. Yeah, you should do that, Charlotte. Mm. Do you think, you know, because you're staying around and all, I could take you out sometime? Like, we could take it slow, couldn't we? Like next week, maybe? I don't think so. Dan! We came in to share the feeling. Then until you start living what you're dreaming, stay private behind eyelids. Your life is full, much more. Than getting wasted. wasted.